friends, I am so excited to show you my latest design team project. I created this journal for Studio 28E and the designer of the digital kit that I used is Sherry Schmier. So I want, before I start to give you the flip through, I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. Uh, the majority of what you see in here is the digital kit, so I'm not going to repeat myself over and over about it. If you would like a close-up of the kit so you can see exactly what's in it, I will have the link for the Etsy shop in my description box below. There are some new things that I have done in this journal uh, that I had not done in previous journals, and I'm pretty excited to show them for you. So many of the things that I do are firsts for me because uh, while I was raising my kids, I really didn't do any crafting, and so a lot of time went by that I wasn't learning new skills. So I'm learning them all now, which is very exciting. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to point out, and I'll give you a close-up of it, is that I actually sewed the material to the cover of the journal and I was inspired by Sherry of Turquoise Dreaming because I saw her do that and I thought mm, I might want to give that a try so I did and it worked and it looks pretty neat so that was cool and then I also sewed uh, this sash you know this tie I sewed this on also to the um, spine of it so that's exciting for me and I created uh, a little pin here, and it's a safety pin, and I added a bunch of beads and lovely ribbon to it, so I'll give you a close-up of that as well. So let's get to it! I wanted to let you know that I will have pictures of my favorite pages at the very end of this video if you're interested. And also, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to sell this journal, and if you are interested in purchasing it, just leave me a comment below. You can see that I have sewn the tie to the spine. The cover material I got at a thrift store, it actually was like, not a blouse, but a, a little shirt that would go underneath of like a blazer and I embellished it with some silk flowers and I added a rhinestone here. These are prints from the digi kit that I used my little paper punch around the edges and then I sewed the fabric on. You can see the pink stitching and then I tied it but underneath the tie is this nice gold ribbon and I put that all the way around it. This is a belly band that was created for me by Robin Pope. I did a belly band swap with her. She hand stitched this crocheted edging here which is just beautiful and so I've tucked into that a piece of paper actually that I found in my vintage paper haul and it has this style like almost 1920s lady on it so I thought that was a very fortunate and lucky addition that I could use. As I mentioned before, the majority of the work in here is from the digital kit, but I did want to tell you that I printed out much of the digi kit onto some of the vintage paper that I had from my haul. And then I embellished the corners with scraps from when I did use some different papers in here. This is from somebody's old checkbook when they were keeping tabs of what their balance was. This I used scraps from, I printed this out twice, and I used scraps to embellish this piece of paper, and then I used my pink stamp around the edges. This is it from my vintage paper haul, and I just added some lace here and then added my decorative punch paper and then half of a doily. Again, I added corners here. Actually, I added some purple to this digi print. Here I made a pocket from the checkbook register and just added some little goodies. This is vintage paper that I dyed with tea and instead of it being pink it turned out blue which I thought was funny. And then this is a vintage paste up. 
This is a belly band that I created and I used some shiny ribbon and then this is a vintage piece of scrap paper as is this part as well. And then I just um, went over the edges with gold and blue paint. This is a piece of paper from my vintage paper haul and I embellished it with part of the kit and then some blue paint on the edge. This is a piece of scrapbook paper that I embellished with a piece of ephemera from the kit. I sewed this in, I don't know if you can see the stitch there. And then this is an altar playing card. I did a video with these and the image that I used was from the kit. And then this piece of fabric was from my fab vintage fabric haul. And um, the card just fits perfect in there. Another altered playing card. Vintage paper, embellished scrapbook paper that I punched with my fancy punch. This is a piece of vintage paper that I dyed with tea, but it was a colored tea and I thought it would be pink, but it was blue, so there's, there's a lot of that through here. And I printed the digital kit, this page of it, onto the vintage paper. This little pocket's made from ribbon. Here's a little fabric flip. I hung this little card in here. I used my eyelet punch. I went over the corners here with some metallic paint. So a lot of space in here for journaling another vintage paste stub and I lined it with some gold ribbon. Makes for a nice journaling spot. That's the end of the first signature and now we're moving on to the second signature. You can see that I used my fancy punch on this vintage paper that I printed the kit onto. This is um, some vintage material. On this print I added some lace. No, I added some ribbon and just embellished the corners. Here's a little belly band I made out of some pretty ribbon. coffee dyed and I added some satin green ribbon to the edge. This is layered. It's basically a print from the kit that I layered with a scrapbook paper that I punched with my fancy punch. Then I went around the edges and I painted it with silver paint. I added this little satin bow. Here's the center of the second signature. And again, I punched the edges and then I went over it with my black ink. This is a belly band that I made and I embellished it with some paper. Well, first I stitched it together then I embellished it with paper and ribbon and then this this gold thing that I got at um, the estate sale and just added some pages for journaling. When I added this scrapbook paper, I punched it, you can see here, 
And then I went over it with my black stamp on the edge. And I like the way that it left it here as well. I thought that looked cool. And actually was a, just one of those happy mistakes. I printed this part of the kit out onto the back of one-sided scrapbook paper. And then I added some ribbon and some lace and some flowers. Here's a little pocket. These were all just embellishments. Vintage fabric here. This is an old ATM receipt and it's like cardstock. So I turned it into a pocket. And then I had some vintage paper, also I dyed this, and just added the flower punch, and then these are from the old checks that I have. Here's a little paper flip, and then this is just paper clipped on. This I absolutely love. It might be one of my favorite things. This is a beautiful hanky that I found at the estate sale and I sewed it into, well I sewed it onto this page. The pattern on this one came out pretty neat. An altered card. a little satin flower, and a little tiny belly band, vintage fabric from my estate sale, on some vintage paper that I coffee dyed, another playing card that I altered and added a flower and some glitter. In this page I sewed on, you know I have the flower punch, I say that in every video, <laughs> and I sewed them onto the edge of this page and I think it just looks so bright and colorful. And the stitching shows through on this side and then I glued this ribbon on. This is a belly band that I did, and it's sewn here and sewn onto the page as well. And then I added this paper just to try to, you know, help it fit the time period. So here I have an altered paper clip holding this nice big, well first let's take a look at this beautiful print. This is the center of the third signature and then I created like this little flip journaling flip thing here so on the one side it's blank so all of these on this side are blank <laughs> and they're coffee or eco dyed but if we flip it over each side has a nice little card and I sewed this lace onto this page This is a belly band that I sewed together, embellished it, and this is actually a very, very old key, a real one. I didn't buy it at the craft store, it's an actual key. And I just, I love that I was able to use it in this way. Here's a pocket I created out of old checks. I sewed it into the book. And you can see some stitching here because on the other side I sewed this. This was the rest of the hanky from the other page. I sewed it on here just for an extra layer 
And then this is also from the kit and I sewed this in as well. And then I just added a little fabric bow. And on the back of this page is my surprise pocket. I sewed the pocket in. So we have this because I think this looks pretty 1920s. And we have our gold feather. Everybody gets a feather while I have them. I actually found this in a magazine and it is perfect. Just a piece of an old check register. So I'll put that behind her. Some beautiful eco dyed paper. I mean, look at this pattern. That's beautiful. And there's handwriting on this receipt. And I thought that was really a nice addition. And then we have a little saying, one can never have too large a party. I thought that was perfect. An old receipt from 1979. And then that. So I thought those were fun little items for the surprise pocket. And this is the last page. This is another creation that I received from Robin Pope, my swap partner. She hand stitched the edge of this too. And then I just tucked a little card in there for journaling. And here's my signature card. So I'm really pleased with how she turned out. I'm actually going to sell this one. If you are interested in purchasing this journal, just let me know in the comments section and then we will get, you know, I will get in touch with you and we will figure things out from there. A beautiful little pin that I made. And there we go. Thanks for watching. See you soon.